Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine and today I will be reviewing these Godiva chocolates. So let me tell you what oh. the flavors are on this. They have dark chocolate coconut, milk chocolate hazelnut heaven, milk chocolate caramel embrace, white chocolate sugar cookie, dark chocolate raspberry velvet, dark chocolate eclipse, milk chocolate cream puff, milk chocolate now just a little caramel. heads up when i went to the store to pick these up i noticed that there was a red one and i noticed there was also a blue one and i thought they were different but they're not they're basically the, they have the same thing it Here they are. Can you see them? Can you see them? Are they gonna fall? I think they can stand. Wow. Tell me that doesn't look good. Okay. Um, well, I don't know where to start. Oh, I can take this thing off, which is great, because then I can look at the back and try to figure out what is what. Um, oh, I'm so excited. It smells delicious. So first up, uh, I'll grab uh, this one. See it? That's it. Mmm. That should be coconut. I'm just filling on the inside. Mmm. Yes, yeah, coconut. It's. Let me read you the description. It's dark chocolate coconut, coconut macaroon, and creamy coconut fondant in dark chocolate with milk chocolate stringing. I'm not getting all that from this. Uh, mm. I'm not that big of a fan of coconut, but... Uh. With dark chocolate... The intensity of the dark chocolate with, I feel like coconut has an intense taste. The intense taste of the coconut really balances it out. And the filling is nice. It's not like a, I don't want to say cheap, but kind of like cheap. It's not. It's like coconut shavings within like some coconut jelly thing. I don't know if that makes sense, but okay. I'll give you a close up. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. Whatever. Um. Oh my god. Mm. Put my hair out of the picture. You see? I don't know if you can see that, but whatever. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because if not, this video is gonna be extra long. Next, let me pick pick the one in the middle. So the next one is this one. It's the G in the middle. I think there's two of them. Uh, this has to be a milk chocolate. So it's either milk chocolate hazel nut heaven, or, um, milk chocolate cream puff, or milk chocolate almond caramel. Or milk chocolate caramel embrace. I think I went through all that. Huh? That's just chocolate inside. Hmm. Hmm. It took me a second because they're literally the same color. Um, yep. And that's the hazelnut one. So, a heavenly hazelnut praline covered in milk chocolate. That's about right. 
Mm. That's so good. It's like the hazelnut is like when I think of hazelnut, I think of Nutella. But it's a lot thicker and stickier. It's sort of like peanut butter sticky. It really sticks on the tongue. Mm. Mm, the flavor is intense. I mean, because of the hazelnut, you can hardly taste the milk chocolate. It really depends on what you put on your tongue first. I don't know. It's complicated, but yeah. And the first bite, because it wasn't a big bite, I didn't feel it. I didn't really taste it. Um, because I took it from the edge. So I basically got the coating, which was just smoked chocolate. And then I looked in the inside and I'm like, I don't see anything. But, oh. Uh, Alright. What well, do I want? I already ate the one with the G, so I'm not eating that one. This one. This little square one. This is the milk chocolate. <laughs> oh, I never showed you the thickness of the... You can't really see, but... You see how it looks all thickish? Sorry that you can see my teeth marks. Um, anyways, milk chocolate. Next. This one. It's a little square one. Um, and it was under the circular one. See, it's this one. Okay. Uh, here. Let's see. It will definitely milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. This is definitely the caramel one. Oh. Mm. Oh. That caramel. Mm. It reminds me of the caramels. The little caramel cubes that they used to sell back in the day when I was a kid. Um, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but I would sometimes grab them. And I would put them like between my my palms and I would try to warm it up. So that way when I bit into it, it was like basically like this. All like nice and soft. Mm. Mm, this is soft vanilla caramel and robed in milk chocolate. It sounds about right. Again, I feel like it's pretty good, but the only thing I've noticed is that they're really sweet. But I guess that should be expected. Um, but I'm not going to keep eating that. It's really nice. The caramel is nice and thick. And But again, I can hardly taste the milk chocolate with it because it's just the caramel is so overpowering next i've been saying too much milk chocolate next up a dark chocolate let's see which dark one i want i'm gonna go for this circular one in the corner so you can get a better picture mm -hmm. beautiful little chocolate so I already got rid of one, so there's two options. I did it again. Mm. I don't know which one this is. This is a double dark chocolate. This is the dark chocolate eclipse. An intense 72% cacao dark chocolate mousse wrapped in sumptuous dark chocolate. Mmm. I mean, I haven't seen a picture. The inside is definitely very moussey. You know, I'm being a really big fan of the the dark chocolate. 
the dark chocolate ones i'm gonna take the chunky one okay so i'm gonna be taking i'll be taking this one next the one next to the little to the white chocolate It took me a second, but and this is the milk chocolate almond caramel. It has crunchy almonds surrounded by delicious honey infused caramel covered in milk chocolate. Oh, what it is. Mm. The caramel in this one is it? It's not as creamy and like warm I don't know it doesn't like as much as the, the other one I mean again the caramel is so overpowering that and the sweetness in the caramel is so overpowering that like I kind of taste the milk chocolate, but not really. It's not like a fair combo. It's like 75% filling. 75 to 80% filling. And 20 to 15% shell that I'm tasting. Um, it has a good bit of almond chunks. Balance out the caramel. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right term, but it's like there are enough few little chunks of almonds in the caramel that it's not all clustered, but it's not like you're like, well, there's the almonds. Like there aren't any almonds. That's all I have to say about that. It's a pretty good combo. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. Time for the white chocolate now there's only one white chocolate in here so i know which one it is it's the white chocolate sugar cookie well actually let me shut up and i can explain while i'm chewing on it uh. oh that has a a nice jelly filling that is the that is a layer of sweet white chocolate ganache inspired by the buttery vanilla flavor of sugar cookies in white chocolate chow. Mm. <laughs> it's funny. Because in this one, the shell, the taste of the shell is a lot more overpowering than the taste of the filling. Let me tell you what it looks like. Okay, so. Oh, that is so creamy. But. Does it taste like a cookie? I don't know. What does a cookie taste like? It's like sweet and vanilla -y, right? <laughs> Maybe I've had too much chocolate, so I can't really distinguish it, but I mean, it's nice. Nothing special though. No like little like um sparkles of anything or any booms. Nothing just as it says here. My chocolate ganache with a vanilla flavor of I really don't get the the vanilla flavor sugar cookie. I guess for my palate that kind of just blends in with white chocolate. 
is not enough to like give it an oomph this to me would just be like a little the name slipped my mind but it would just be a little white chocolate thing with different textures the shell being hard and the inside okay um what do i have left i have um two left i have i believe i have this bad boy with which is dark chocolate with raspberry which i'm kind of excited about because i like raspberry and then there's the milk chocolate cream puff which is, I believe, this one. Oh, they're right, literally right next to each other. Let me show you. Okay. So I've decided I'm going to do the milk chocolate with raspberry. Well, let me read the description first this time. It's a tangy raspberry filling blended into a chocolate ganache and robed in dark chocolate. Okay, so what I have to say about this, um, I don't know why, but I was expecting. For you to be able to see like swirls of chocolate and raspberry like the two different colors but it's just kind of like a no offense but <laughs> a sad looking raspberry color it's it's like a mauvey purple um nice and smooth what do i have to say about this it tastes really good this is one of my favorites i mean in general that's one of my favorite flavors but Something I don't like about it is that when you bite into it and you, you're, you're like consuming it in your mouth and it's melting and you know whatever, the raspberry kind of melts faster and is digested, <laughs> that sounds weird, but it like, it disappears from your mouth faster than the dark chocolate, kind of way too fast for my liking. I would like it to be there for a little longer. Um, but now for the final one, which is the milk chocolate cream puff. I wonder why they put it in this gold wrapper. Maybe to make it look cute. Oh. Show you. That's what it looks like. It's a cutie. Let's see if there was any particular reason for why it was in there. Let's see if it's that good. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, so honestly. It is okay. Um, um, this one is another one where I like it. This is well balanced because the filling and the milk chocolate kind of disappear from your mouth at the same time and the strength and flavor are similar. I'm not that much of a fan though of the filling. It's a milk chocolate cream puff cream filling inside a milk chocolate shell. Cream? Creme? Creme? Because it has a little... Fancy. Um. Uh. Wasn't that exciting. I thought it was going to be more. I'm talking about the one chocolate. Um. So, here are my overall... Here's my overall review of this lovely Godiva holiday assortment box. I mean, 
My biggest issue um, with this box is that it's very sweet. And like, I still have a few more to go through um, that I'll be reviewing for the next few days. Other holidays or I think they're holiday chocolate assortment boxes. But my biggest issue with this is that it's very sugary. That it doesn't allow the quality of the chocolate to shine or to at least balance out with the, the inside. It's just too sweet. Um, but it's not all bad. Um, it is one of the better boxes that I've tasted. It tastes way better than the, the ones that come in the little heart one. This is much better quality chocolate. The, the shells are good. They're, um, they have lovely designs. Um, the shells are nice and sturdy. It's very smooth. The chocolate does melt in your mouth. The fillings, the textures of the fillings are pretty good. You know, they give you a variety. They give you some that are more thicker. They give you some that are jelly. They give you some ganaches that are like more like, I don't know, like spongy. So it has like a variety of textures. It has milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. So if that's, that's what matters to you and you're not like the biggest, I don't know, chocolate obsessed person or like whatever like this was pretty good like this is a good assortment but that's all i have to say let me not keep uh procrastinating the ending of this thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you decide to buy this box let me know what your favorite flavors are oh i forgot to tell you what my favorite flavors are and i'm like about to end the video okay so what are my favorite flavors from the box and like my my favorite little chocolates um the ones that I really liked and enjoyed were the dark chocolate coconut because of like it was a nice surprise uh, to taste the coconut shavings inside of the little jelly um, that was like a nice mix maybe that's why my standards were so high for the others um, next after that were the, um, the dark chocolate raspberry velvet because although I don't feel like the raspberry flavor stayed long enough um, um, I still enjoyed the combo. It was fun. It was nice. I liked it. Um, and then I think I would say there was one more. The milk chocolate hazelnut heaven. I loved, I guess it might be because I like hazelnut. I mean, the, the filling was like very sticky, like peanut butter, but it was still good. I still enjoyed it. Um, and yeah those are my favorites tell me what are yours down in the comments below if you decide to try it if you don't decide to try it you know it's fine it's whatever but um yeah that's all i have to say have